What's up everybody? I just picked up this power wheel off Craigslist for my kids. The only problem is the uh, it's a little messed up and the battery's no good. So what I'm gonna do is I went out and I got all of, all of these things and I'm gonna make it run off of a DeWalt drill battery. First things first, let's figure out which of these is a positive and which of these is a negative. So for that, let's go to the battery. You can see here it's marked positive and negative, so the positive is the white. That's something that's important that we gotta remember. Let's uh, cut off this connector and move on to the next step. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go to everything else that we're gonna need. You're gonna need a drill battery, a USB charger that works with your drill battery. The brand that you're gonna get needs to be compatible with the batteries that you have, so make sure that you get the same brand. A inline 30 amp fuse, a voltage controller to where you turn the knob, it's gonna limit the voltage that can come out of the battery, which will in turn control the speed of the power wheel. Some 12 gauge wire, a Velcro to hold these things in place, and some wire splices. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your USB charger and split it apart. To do that, I pulled this off and under there was this clip holding this side together and back here was this screw holding the back side together. And you just kinda of slide it apart like so to get to what you need to get to. So all we're gonna need is the connector so we can cut it loose from the circuit board. So now I'm gonna take this 30 amp inline fuse and I'm gonna connect it on the input side under the positive leg. You always wanna connect it on the positive side of the battery. Cut off a little bit of wire. So I got the negative motor wire and the positive motor wire hooked up, as well as the positive leg coming in from the battery. Okay, I got the two wires soldered onto the connector, now it's time to put this back together. So when we look at the battery here, you can see right here is marked positive. So when I turn that over like this, we know this one right here is gonna be the positive, so let's mark it. Now we have to hook this last negative leg up to the negative input on the voltage controller. Now we have everything hooked up. We got the battery connection running into a voltage controller. Our inputs positive, negative. We have our 30 amp fuse on our positive leg. And then we figured out which wires were positive and negative going back to our motors. So let's hook up the battery and see how it runs. Okay, it works. If I turn this knob up, that's all the way up. That's 20 volts. It's probably around 12. 
and it'll go down really low to where it doesn't go at all. So now we just need to dial it down to the right speed. So that's pretty slow, so we'll try that out for a while. Now let's have the kids give it a try. Okay, so now that I got everything hooked up and working, let's have a quick recap. I got my 20 volt DeWalt battery hooked up to my DeWalt USB charger. That's been modified by taking the circuitry out and connecting one wire to the positive terminal and one wire to the negative terminal, which is the far left and the far right. And if you're not sure which one of your connections is the positive and the negative, look at the battery. Right here I got the positive, right there I got the negative. You can see it clearly marked. So then next I got my positive lead coming out and running into my 30 amp inline fuse, which is then plugged into the positive input side. Then I got the negative lead coming out of the battery and going into the negative input side. Then I got my positive and my negative motors over here. To determine which is positive and which is negative coming from the motor, you just look at your original battery. Which right here, you can see the negative is black and the positive is white. Then when you're ready to run, you just turn this knob right here up and down to control the actual speed that the power wheel will go. So right here's low. That's all the way up. So one thing I did read when I was getting ready to do this is that you want to make sure that your power wheels doesn't have a circuit board in it before you do this modification as it could fry the circuit board. However, I looked and mine does not have a circuit board in it and most power wheels brands apparently don't have circuit boards. So if you have an off brand model, check to make sure if there's a circuit board or not. And if there is one, you may not want to do this modification. One more thing you want to look at when making this modification is the amp hour rating on your batteries that you're going to use. If you have a less than three amp hour battery, you probably don't want to use those batteries for this modification. Here I got a four because it'll drain the battery too quickly and will probably eventually ruin it. So just be aware of that. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe. Thanks.